Hey now, it's Little Paulette, and I am back with this article that Maurice just posted to his Instagram regarding him and Kimmy. It's my second time having to record this video. That's why I was down like that, but for some reason it didn't go through the first time. But anyway, Love and Marriage Huntsville's <clears throat> Maurice and Kimmy Scott give update on her cancer journey. That's a nice picture of them. Shortly after Love and Marriage, Huntsville star Kimmy Scott found two lumps in her right breast in, on, in June of 2022. She was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer, the most aggressive form of the disease. And after months of chemotherapy and radiation, she tells U.S. Weekly exclusively she's starting to get back to normal. I feel great, says Kimmy. I'm finished with all my treatments. We had about 23 weeks of chemo, then surgery we had at the beginning of December 2022. I had my last radiation treatment April 13th, so things are starting to get back to normal. Although Kimmy 34 admits she is still slow, she is starting to see more progress. It takes a a long time getting ready in the morning, but that's kind of part of the course as I understand it. And it'll take a little longer for me to feel like the old Kimmy, she tells US. My hair is growing back, she adds. I'm getting a little hair. That's a big thing for me. When I started seeing my hair grow back, that was major for me. Kimmy, who's also a registered nurse, reveals she's having some setbacks with her breathing, but she's not letting it stop her from making a full recovery. I kind of feel like I might have had some underlying issues that the treatments kind of made a little bit worse, she says. So I do have one little obstacle that I have to deal with, but physically, my body feels great. Okay, here they go. Remember that purple dress? Kimmy explains that some patients take anywhere from about nine months to a year to feel like your old self after treatment. I don't feel like my old self, but I don't hurt anymore. I'm not in pain. I'm not fatigued or anything like that, she notes. I don't feel poorly, but it's not as great as it used to be. So I'm still kind of working on that, but I'm not nauseous or sick or anything. I look better than I do on paper. Some of my lab work is still trying to catch up. Her husband, Maurice Scott, has been leaning on a higher power for support. It's been a real challenge. It's been a test of my faith, actually, says Maurice, 43, adding that the pair just celebrated their fifth wedding anniversary. Because I have to lean on God for a lot of things that I need throughout this process, because as a natural protector, provider, a husband is supposed to do everything he can to make sure that his wife's in the best possible position to thrive and enjoy life. Yeah, supposed to. Now that Kimmy has completed her cancer treatments, Maurice tells U.S. that she has her smile back, she has her laugh back, and she's getting her energy and everything back. The reality TV couple even purchased a bike so Kimmy can ease back into her exercise routine. Look at Kimmy. She looks gorgeous. Just gorgeous here. I don't see no little pony there nowhere. None of my little pony. We haven't quite used it, Maurice admits. It's one thing that the doctor has stressed that getting into a good exercise routine can also help with the recovery process. So I'm a husband coach. I'm not sure how you're a husband coach when you had weight loss surgery. Mm, okay. Kimmy's diagnosis has impacted her life in more ways than one, even making her question being a part of Love and Marriage Huntsville. There was a moment in time where I considered not going forward with the show, and Maurice was a big part of me deciding that this platform was a good platform to reach other people in regards to how African Americans by def definition are disproportionately affected, Kimmy tells U.S. It affects everybody, and cancer has no mile marker on a person, and that's not my implication. But as far as the detrimental effects of African Americans, it's disproportionate. So, Kimmy, you always got to put the cape on for everybody else. You had to throw that in there. Nobody asked you that. Why you couldn't just say what Maurice said? God, I cannot stand by people like that. Studies show that while breast cancer incidence rates among black and white women are close, mortality rates are marked differently, with black women having a 40% higher rate death rate from breast cancer. Amongst women under 50, the, the disparity, the disparity is even greater. I'm sorry, guys. I'm talking too fast. While young women have a higher incidence of aggressive cancers, young black women have doubled the mortality rate of young white women. That's facts. And most of that is because of the lack of mammograms, cost of mammograms, and those kinds of things that I really came to terms with was apparently going to be my platform 
to discuss and try to get it out there, Kimmy says. And so I think that was a huge plus. But the pair has also have also faced the downsides of fame. Sometimes we have fans that are a little too spirited and sometimes they're a little too invested with the negative aspects of the show, notes Maurice. And at the backlash, she received for comments he made describing Kimmy as suffering through sex during their chemo treatments. But if my memory serves me correct, you said that on Carlos King's interview first before you even said it on the show, if you even said it on the show. So this don't have nothing to do with that. And most of you guys uh, backlash is not from the show. It's from social media. So real life where Carlos can't edit it out to make you look good. Basically. Mm, the pony's back. Okay. In an interview with reality TV producer Carlos King, Maurice Scott said, there's a difference between wants and needs, and I'm a person who actually needs sex, not a person who wants sex. I think that probably was my greatest failure of life, Maurice tells us. Just because the nature of the sensitivity of the situation, the love I had for my wife, and the embarrassment factor. I think that the information and the way I shared the information, the casual nature in which I used the information was careless, and it was hurtful, and it's wrong. Mm. Okay, come through, mama. He continues, and everybody that went that's went through this situation, I have personally, they understand that all that at all times you should be protecting the individuals that are close to you and the ones that you love. And I didn't do that at that time. All right, Mo. Maurice has found one good thing in the controversy. Referring to it as the mirror effect, he says, fans miss nothing. And you can't take criticism and feedback, whichever and you can take criticism and feedback whichever way you want to put it. It's an opportunity for growth and conversation. Kimmy calls his comments an epic fail. Right, Kimmy? We had a conversation and I said the same thing. I felt unprotected, she tells you. As I felt like as a husband, that wasn't your job. That wasn't what you were doing at that particular time. And so we had to kind of go through it. I mean, our relationship is stronger than that. Um, if we can't endure a misstep, then there's a bigger problem. True, Kimmy. Maurice chimes in. I have a whole new appreciation for life, for just life in of itself and the ability to wake up tomorrow. So some of the downs that naturally come with life, they don't take me down as much anymore. And the highs are so much higher just because we get a chance to share together. So that's been really rewarding for me. I know that my husband loves me, added Kimmy. I know he can speak out of turn, but I know what I married and I know his heart. Now it's all getting back on track. I'm better. I'm not sick. I want to talk about the good stuff, says Kimmy, who runs a successful real estate company alongside Maurice and Huntsville. We're open to all kinds of ideas that will benefit our community. And the second half of this love and marriage season, she says, it's unbelievable. <laughs> We're feeling better. So I get to be feisty. Yeah, and put that cape on for Tisha. That's that's how you get feisty. You put the cape on for Tisha. You put the cape on for Marceau. And you put the cape on for Maurice. But you don't put the cape on for yourself. I don't have to be at home. I don't have to just be pampered and taken care of. So I kind of get to be back. I kind So I get to kind of be back to Kimmy, my bad. Love and Marriage Huntsville airs on, on Saturdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. So, what did y'all think? What did you think about this article? Did you think that Maurice was sincere with what he was saying? I felt like he was. Um, what do y'all think? Drop down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to hit the like button. Um, share the video. Hit the bell if you want to be notified when the next video is coming out. And just... Go in the comments and go crazy. Tell me what y'all think. Go ham. I don't care if you go ham on me. Go ham. Do that, y'all. All right. Thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to rock with me. When, um, you could be watching anybody else's videos, but you come over to tune into Lil Paulette. All right, gang, gang. Peace.